Hey, so today I'm gonna go through my nude colored lipsticks and it's Angarid, so you know how to say my name and it's going to take a while because I think what I have the most of are nudes so I'm gonna go ahead and get started the first one I'm actually wearing and it is Milani and it's called Dolce Caramello um, it does have retinol palmitate in it so I pretty much only wear it at night but it smells like watermelon and it's just such a gorgeous color. Then I wear this lip gloss with it, which is also from Milani, and it's called Luminous. And it's not a nude, but it just accompanies this nude. It's just exactly what it says, Luminous. They just go so well together, I just love this color combination. The next one is from Pixie, and it's actually kind of more of like a pinky nude frost, as you can see. I, I maybe should have included this in my pinks, but I don't know, I didn't. So I'm going to include it as a pinky nude. So I have three Silk Naturals colors that are, I would consider all to be nudes. They are Sheena, All In, and Saint Tropez. I am going to put Saint Tropez on first. Mmm, yummy. Eat it with a spoon. I love it. It's gorgeous. I, I think I'm... Maybe I'm like a nude addict, I think. I think the majority of my colors are nudes because they have a lot of brown in them, that are the ones that I really like. I don't know, I guess also because they're really subtle and they kind of go with everything. Now we have Sheena. Some of you have probably seen this one. I also consider this a nude. It's a little bit of a darker nude than saint -Tropez. Awesome. Sheena. This is a one of their vegan lipsticks. And the last one I have here is All In, which was a gift. So this is um, one of the organic lipsticks, which I like. Those are slickers. I feel like they're a little not as long-lasting, I guess. They're a little more like balm, like a, like a tinted lip balm. It's almost got a little bit of berry in it. Again, that's... I got it all messy. Again, that's All In. It's one of the organic lipsticks from Silk Naturals. three glosses. I've got a Pacifica, I've got a Shiro, and a Brigia. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Brigia. This is one that she made and she just kind of had some extras of so she asked if we wanted. I wanted it because I like peach kind of nudes. I think this is a really pretty. It's got a lot of sparkle in it too which really doesn't bother me. I like it. This is a great nude. I mean it's perfect for my skin tone. I love orange and well, sort of light orange and peach colors so this one doesn't have a name I don't think you can still get it but she I, she does have some nude glosses that would be probably pretty similar and along these same lines so that's a that's one I really like <laughs> what's funny is the name on this one actually it's called nudist so of course I have to include it in the nudes and this is Pacifica you've probably if you are in involved in the green beauty community or cruelty free you've probably heard of this these are quite raved about and they're lovely so I mean I really don't have any complaints they're not that expensive so. I, I like Pacifica I like a lot of their stuff I've been using their BB cream a lot even though lately I've needed a little more coverage but it does it, it gives you a really nice luminous kind of finish which is nice so that's nudist it's not very strong it's great to put on top of a lipstick or other colors if you want just a little more shine it's a really pretty it does have some sort of gold sparkle in it I'm not, I don't mean I'm not sure if you can see it or if you can tell. So that's nudist from Pacifica. Now, this one's almost a red, but I still categorize it as a nude. And it's uh, Nick Cage nibbling pedophores in a posh Victorian tea room. And uh, you've probably heard about the Shiro Nick Cage glosses and their incredibly long, goofy names, which I think are really creative and cool. I love this color. I think it's just gorgeous. And don't get me wrong, I do have some bright, wild colors, and I will get to those in another video. So I'm not unadventurous, and everything I own is half brown and, you know, boring. It's just so you know. So there's that one. And uh, I just even love the packaging. I don't, I don't, there you go. You can see I'm standing there. <laughs> Really doesn't look anything like Nick Cage, but I guess that's not the point. I I, I think it for me because I'm not huge on wearing reds. It was the most beautiful of all of the Nick Cage glosses. <laughs> Bite Beauty. It's a double-ended 
stick and I, I showed you this color which is lychee which is actually a fruit that that's named after. I showed you that one in my pinks and then this is more of a nude and this is called musk. It's definitely more of a pink nude but when you compare it to le lychee it really looks like a nude. So there aren't a lot of pinks I can pull off but this one this pink nude looks pretty good so I was impressed with that because bite is not is not cheap. <laughs> Silk Naturals is considerably more affordable but I really like this duo and this side of it, the musk side, does have a lot more brown in it so I really like it. It's quite a, quite a light nude but I would put it in a category of nudes personally. Okay, this is an all natural face diva stick and it's in the color Dusky Rose. This one has a lot of brown and a great fall color, I think. It has almost some coppery tone to it. So you could consider this a red or maybe like a nudish red. I probably should have put this in my reds. <laughs> I was thinking when I swatched it it was more nude. Well, I mean, what's the definition of nude? In my opinion, it's kind of a lot of brown. I mean, I don't know if that's right or not, but... So, anyway, this is Dusky Rose. Kind of a nude, more of a red, but a lovely red. Very, very lovely color for fall. Very... It's got some orange in it and a lot of brown, and it's gonna make your teeth look whiter, and it's not very drying. I've had this for a while. It's a, it's a great color. I'd definitely say this one is correctly in the nude. The Multi Pot Florentina from Gabriel Cosmetics. Yeah, that sunlight, you can get the real accurate color. I'm wearing it on my lips. It actually, for a Multi Pot and a nat natural one, it has a really long staying power, even on my lips. It's really gorgeous on your cheeks as well. So if you have any interest in any of the Multi pots from Gabriel. I do recommend Florentina. Very beautiful. I bought it from Viv and uh, I really like it. I also have a clean cauldron color that I would like to include. It's called Earth. It's one of the lip lusters. It's more sheer, but to me, this has a lot of brown in it and it's very nude. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a perfect amount of shimmer and shine and moisturizing, and everyone's talked about how amazing these are, and the hype is absolutely true. This is Earth. It, it just looks really brown, but it, it doesn't come off on your lips that way. It really comes off as a new- It's just gorgeous and it smells like chocolate. So, I mean, w what could be better? Okay, this is a Rawceuticals. Uh, you've probably heard of their line. I have a sunscreen from them, from their Sunceuticals line. And this is an SPF 15. But, as you can see, it has an absolute lot of brown in it. But it's just- it's mostly a nude. It has some red in it. It wears a really, really long time. I fell asleep the other day wearing this and when I woke up it was still there. It's a really nice color, really good ingredients. I, I do recommend you check these out. I think I got it on Abe's Market and this was less than five dollars. We often forget to, that we need sunscreen on our lips as well. This is Honey Bee Gardens Seduction and I did show you guys this in a booty way back in the summer and this is an awesome color. I know a lot of these are starting to look- a lot of these are starting to look- I'm seeing a trend. They look a lot alike to me. So yeah, Seduction. Honeybee Gardens. I, this is so creamy and awesome. I think these are, um, they have one that's called Aztec that I've always really wanted to try but I'm kind of afraid of it. It's like a bright orange yellow. I don't know but it looks cool. So, I love this color. I always feel like I should be like, seduction. I have another pumpkin and poppy one here. This is um, Shadowland. I really love this color. I wish it was a little more long wearing. I tend to have that trouble with some of her products. Not that I don't absolutely love them and I think they're beautiful but I tend to have to reapply more often. But anyway, this is a gorgeous color. It's just this great mauve nude. And of course, this wouldn't be complete without my favorite at the moment. I've mentioned this before, Bebot Love. It's from the Furry Collection from Wet n Wild. And I just love it. It's so incredibly smooth going on. It goes with everything. It's good for any occasion. Another all-natural face product is a cream blush. And you can also use these on your lips. This one is called Dark Rose. A perfect nude on the lips. It's a little bit lighter and less brown than a lot of the ones that I wear. I really like that about it. It's actually quite long wearing, more so than some of the other ones I've tried wearing on my lip. It's just such a beautiful color. I just... I just think it's gorgeous. I love it. I'm so glad I got it. It's totally my favorite blush and one of my favorite lip colors at the moment. Blue Steel Zoolander. What the f- Does it have a hair on it? Kumbaya! Ugh. 
animal. Pets. Uh, this bad boy gorgeous color right here is a lip stain. It's called Roxy and it is from Silk Natural. It wears pretty long, makes your teeth look white. It's not drying. I just love it. This is a great lip stain and I saved it for last because it's a stain. Thanks for watching. I hope you like some of the colors and maybe you want to go check some of them out. Nudes are great for any season so, you know, that's one of the best things about them. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a peaceful day and...